guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Obviously, first thing I've got to do is say congratulations to Liverpool. That's why you can see the outfield behind me. Everyone that falls in Liverpool, the manager, the players, the fans, I'm happy for you. You know, I'll be super happy if my team ever won the Premier League. First time in 30 years. Who knows, maybe back-to-back -back championships in the future, but we're going to have to wait and see till next season to see if it's that soon or not. But as I said, huge congratulations to Jürgen Clark, as I said, the players and the fans and everyone involved with Liverpool Football Club. But anyway, you guys are here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to see my Premier League predictions for week 32. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to kick off with is Aston Villa vs Wolves. This game is actually played on my birthday. First ever Premier League game on my birthday. Obviously for the reasons my birthday is in the summer. It's supposed to be in Euro 2020 by now but obviously due to the pandemic the Euro 2020 is not going ahead so you know, we've got the Premier League instead. I'm happy that Premier League game being played on birthday. I just wish it was in more safe circumstances and possibly the fans would, would be allowed into the stadium. But that's not to be, but this game on Saturday, I'm going to enjoy it. So, with the likes of Philip being in the relegation zone, Wolves looking for a Champions League spot, it could be a really interesting game. And it's a derby. I just think they're literally right down the road from each other so but anyways this game it's going to be an interesting game but I'm going to go for a Wolves win and I'm going to go for a 3 nil Wolves win my next one is Watford versus Southampton Watford yet again are fighting in the relegation battle Southampton are safe I think and they're almost with the touch and distance of being safe mathematically as well. Losing to Arsenal this weekend, week, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, Southampton, a bit of a disappointment, but I think they're all about to bounce back this week or weekend with a 2 1 victory to Southampton. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Burnley. Burnley, you know, doing their sort of thing. Struggled to get results sometimes. I think they beat, who did they beat? I can't quite remember. But, um, you know, fair play for Burnley for doing that. Uh, Crystal Palace, on the other hand, you know, in the top 10, which you know, could be slightly surprising, depends what way you look at them. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Manchester United. Brighton picking up four points from Premier League restart. Man United loses to Tottenham, I can't remember who they played this weekend or week or whatever you want to call it um, but May I have never won at the Amex I don't think that's going to happen again and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win my next one is Arsenal versus Norwich now Arsenal you know losing to Brighton beating Southampton and then Norwich going to Arsenal, I do believe that Norwich are doomed, um, I got to win 7, I got to win 5 games out there, remaining 7 matches, so they lose this one, they lose the next one which is against Brighton, they're down, I do think Arsenal will win this game though, and I think they'll win it 2 goals to nil. My next one is Bournemouth versus Newcastle. Bournemouth are uh, in that relegation 
battle as well. Newcastle ain't done too badly since Premier League restart. We draw this weekend to Villa, I think, or mid or midweek, whatever you, as I said, whatever you want to call it. I do believe that Newcastle will come out on top on this one, and I'll go for a three-one scoreline for that one. My next one is Everton versus Leicester. Now Leicester fighting for the Champions League spot. Everton are, you know, fighting for the Europa League places, so you know, ain't too bad this game. But I do think Leicester will come out on top, and I do believe that would be 2-1 Leicester. My next one is West Ham versus Chelsea. Now, West Ham, yet again, are in that relegation dogfight. Chelsea are, you know, pushing towards the top four. I believe they're in the top four. I believe Chelsea will win this one quite comfortably, and I believe they'll win this one 3 0. My next one is Sheffield United versus Spurs. Sheffield United losing to Man United. Tottenham are a case in Premier League restart. The only ground in the in England that has got three tunnels due to the EFL um, being played at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So, you know, fair play to Tottenham for doing what they're doing. As far as the game goes, I believe it would be a 2-1 Spurs win. My last one for the week, on weekend or midweek, whatever you want to call these fixtures, is Manchester City versus Liverpool. Now, as I said at the top of the video, congratulations to Liverpool. Um, Man City, you know, ain't got nothing to play for. Liverpool have, funny enough, with the likes of the most points tally. So I'm going to predict to Liverpool win, and I'm going to predict a 1-0 Liverpool win. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao, friends.